Hey guys, Moser with Negron Tech here. So I am finally bringing you the official 40 series Strimmer Plus V2. Now this is the actual new one. Uh, it finally came out. I went up to Micro Center, picked it up. Now I got the 12, the 12, uh, the 12 plus four to the 12 plus four pin, which pretty much means that if you have an adapter from your PSU for 600 watts that goes that 12 plus four to 12 plus four, if you see here closely, you can just go right into that. Now there's other versions where it's a 12 plus four pin to two eight pins. So depending on which uh, power supply you have and what cables you do or don't have, just be aware which one you get. I think this is also on AliExpress. I don't know if it's on uh, Amazon yet, but now what? Now this is pretty much the same thing, guys. It's, it's just pretty much that, you know, that RGB cable on top of a power connector, except it's much nicer. Now the way they sell this, um, this is so far away. You can just slide it, make it look a little bit better. I don't like how uh, you can just unpin this. And voila. Yeah, so I just lit it up. I just think it looks a little bit better. Now, guys, be aware with the new version for the 40 series, we still have that same connection that goes into the Lean Lee uh, controller. But be advised, this is actually really nice. I'll give them kudos. They give you this now. And yes, that's what it is the three pin 5 volt RGB, ARGB header. So I'm not going to use this, but for those that don't have the 24 pin uh, strimmer, you can still connect this to the motherboard with just this you don't need to buy the controller as from what i understand i mean you know i'm just assuming that i don't like the restructuring so i'm too lazy uh it also comes with the two weight sets if you want to replace this you would just remove that here no biggie i don't care too much it is what it is so gotta get the installation going all right guys yeah so if you've seen my last video you'll know that uh i have the old strimmer and i just took right off the actual uh, adapter cable and put it on there and using it like as an led strip so really all you're gonna do if you do have the controller you're just gonna plug this part right into the controller. Just make sure you put it really tight. Uh, it, it only goes in one way. Uh, once you put it in there and you feel, I don't think there's an audible click, but once you put it in there, get it tight, push even further. Cause you know, it has to be really, really secure in there. Another note is that again, listen for that click. Now there's a little switch here that has two ports. Whatever port you put it in, it doesn't matter. Just make sure that that switch is correlated to which, which part you put uh, the cord in. Okay, so since it's on the bottom, mine's on the bottom. Uh, I, you know, I did some troubleshooting where I actually had it the other way and messed it up, but quick note. Yep, but there it is, guys. My glorious ghetto jerry-rigged uh, old uh, Lee and Lee Strimmer, how I uh, fixed it, you know. I actually kind of like this. It's nice, simple. Um, if I didn't get a discount on Micro Center, I probably wouldn't have changed it. And it just feels better actually having the actual, uh, you know, actual adapter that you need. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Um, just a, another thought, you know, for that uh that top left of your motherboard, you know, for the vast majority of motherboards, some people do have uh, two times eight pins, especially with a lot of the more powerful newer motherboards. You can do the same thing that I did with the GPU, and you can do that in that top left corner. I don't have a lot of real estate to actually really uh, utilize it or be able to see it if I did put them up there. But, you know, if you do want to do that, you can do it in the same way, guys. So I'm just going to unplug this 16 pin to 12 plus four. Put it to the side because we still do need it and then from here you're just gonna plug it in yep and then you just plug it in and of course i don't know why maybe i just have a messed up maybe asus is uh inverted you know i've been watching too much uh top gun but yeah it actually has to be flipped because they uh f this up you know fantastic won't work for us guys um you might not have to deal with this but just uh, for those that have uh you know maybe ace is tough i don't know about the rog but certain models they might have an issue where you actually have to, <laughs> you know, flip this apart because nobody wants to see this. That's not where the LED is. So in order to do that, we just clip these pins on both sides and we're going to take off. Take these clips off too. You know, it's funny. I actually got the new official version. I think it was going to be nice plug and play. And of course, it can't be simple. Nothing's too easy, guys. And we just flip it around. That's all we're going to do. And now when we put this, uh, cause that actually goes on the bottom like this. So now that this is flipped around, this will go on the bottom and then we'll be able to actually get the RGB. I don't know why, uh, I, you know, I have no clue. Maybe the majority of the 40 series cards have that little four pin, have the little four pin that goes uh, towards the top side, but the Asus one is actually at the bottom. And now that we flipped it, we just clipped this back on. Not really hard. And we'll clip this too. 
and just like that. Gonna slide this up again. You know, we're gonna slide this up because I don't, I, you know, it comes like this, guys. That looks like so stupid to me. Like, you really kind of just want to see the RGB strip, in my opinion, at least. So, you can always just slide this, just pull, pull this, or push it, and that's how you can get it further or closer to the actual uh, connection. And then you can just put these uh, cable cones back on. Now we're gonna actually plug it in the correct way with the RGB showing this time. Remember, hear that audible click and then push it in even more, guys. Don't play games with this connection, all right? Now, before actually putting this in, direct it, uh, connecting it to the GPU uh, 12 plus four, you might wanna route this to whatever aesthetic, whatever is most visually pleasing to you is how you're gonna set this up. So I, you know, I have it plugged into the rear uh, Lee and Lee fan hub, but not, you know, my uh, 12 plus four from the GPU, from the PSU yet. Only because, you know, take take a minute to figure out, plus this is coming out so far, even pushing it up, that I'm not sure if it's even gonna clear with uh, my uh, side panel. I had the Land Cold 3. Yeah, so I still gotta make adjustments because how it is like this, which I think looks pretty damn good with that curve, it's actually not gonna clear with the side panel because this comes out so damn far. And this is the Land Cold 3. This is a very, uh, you know, not a full size, at least I think, but it's a damn big case. You know, if you have the 11 dynamic or something else, there's no way you're fitting this. So, you look closely, a little side angle here, sorry about that. Look how far this actually comes out. I'm actually starting to think that my old Strimmer, the ghetto version is actually the way to go, guys. Just because it was so much tighter on, uh, you know, on the actual GPU and away from the good, from the side, from the side panel. So that's going to be interesting. I don't know how, uh, we're going to do it. Cause really I got to curve it this much just to really get it in there. And, you know, we'll close the side panel real quick and you'll see, hold on. Yeah. Like there's going to be no. Yeah, there's, like, there's going to be no way it's going to make contact and then you're going to have like right there, it's touching. It'll close no problem, but do you really want that mark on your uh, side panel? This actually kind of sucks. Yeah, as you guys can see, I, I made it even closer to the actual uh, 12 plus 4. And with that, it's a little better, but see if you, you might even be able to hear it. I don't think it's touching there. It might be a... Ooh. Maybe like a few, maybe not even a millimeter, guys. Like that is so damn tight. I think this is a big oversight uh, from Lee and Lee here. You know, it's kind of weird because I don't know. Maybe you guys will like that. I'll show the RGB in a little bit, but I don't know. I kind of like the more wider, full 90, cleaner curve just aesthetically. And you know, my my case, my entire PC build is all about aesthetics. I'm not too big of a fan of this. All right, guys, so here's the finished product. Uh, in the B-roll, I'm gonna show a little bit more themes and stuff and some comparisons. Uh, a lot of things I said are still true. Uh, the two big things are it's really, really damn long. I assume that the length is probably better longer than shorter because God forbid those people that wanna uh, reverse that and then go over, because I see a lot of people with the vertical mounts, they'll uh, take that GPU trimmer and put it over and through the 24 pin, which is cool. So I guess the longer the better, I'm kind of like, all right, I get it. But the only other big thing, and it seems to be consistent with the 40 series, is that the actual housing for the connector, that 12 plus four, it's very, very big. Like this, the Cable Bomb one is big too. Uh, the Corsair and uh, for this one, the Asus, the Thor, the actual connection isn't that big. So I understand that it has RGB and there's other factors that go into it, but that's something that you really need to consider. When I talked about that space between that side panel, that's a real problem. And if you don't have a case that's gonna clear it, you know, uh, that's a big issue. I wanna say that you need, whatever your clearance is from the side panel to your GPU, you're gonna need another three inches minimum to be able to actually fit this new streamer. Uh, if that's the case, I want to say this wholeheartedly that if you watch my last video and you just uh, jerry rigged, you like ghetto set up your last, uh, the old streamer, not the official one, and velcroed it, cable tied it. If you're one of the lucky people with Corsair and you're able to actually just uh, cable comb it to that to the regular cable, you might as well just stick with that. This probably is not going to be worth the 60 bucks. You know, if I didn't get a discount on Micro Center, I probably wouldn't have even got it. So that's uh, a real thing. But, you know, I messed with it a lot more. I was able to get that nice 90 I kept talking about. Uh, I was able to squeeze through that other uh, channel. If you guys don't mind, like, comment, and subscribe. 
And uh, let me know what you guys think. All right, guys. Mozu and Negron Tech here. Have a good one.